What's up, guys? My name is Jordan Perez. My first year being licensed as a barber, I made $126,000. My second year, $168,000. And now my third year, I'm on track to open up my first barber shop and make over $200,000 a year as a barber, renting out a chair inside of a barber shop in Tampa, Florida. And I just give that as context. I don't give that to brag. I just give that to kind of check mark you know, where I'm at, right? And give you guys context on my situation. I'm 23 years old. And these are some thoughts that I have in terms of uh, clientele, right? Some clientele thoughts. And a big thing is about being able to lock in new clients and never like losing them, at least not losing them to like bad service or a bad haircut, right? Obviously there's gonna be things like uh, they're mo- them moving away and promotion, different states and, you know, or, you know, price raises maybe, whatever. But like a big thing, a big, big, big understanding to simplify and to not overcomplicate when it comes to actually building your clientele and your barber business is a level of, and it may sound corny, but I'm going to drive the point home, is consistency, right? And I'm going to tell you why. Because very simply put, in my experience, what I've seen is that if I cut somebody's hair and then they choose to come back to me, it is because they want roughly pretty much the exact same thing that they got last time. Now, it may not be a the same haircut, but in terms of the overall experience, the customer service, it could be the haircut as well, how I interact with them, the environment inside of the barbershop, right? All of those things combined was good enough for them to book another appointment. So they want the same thing pretty much. So if you, that's why consistency is so important because no matter how many new clients you get inside of your business, if you cannot keep any of them, your business will not grow. Because yes, if you lose 100 clients a month, but you gain 100 clients a month, you still don't have a clientele that you can raise prices off of. You need to be able to be consistent and actually build clientele. That's the building, right? It grows. So either and that is the one thing and it's also consistent with consistent with your schedule consistent in terms of um, you showing up to the barbershop uh, on time all those things that factor into them getting a haircut with you on a consistent basis is they want you to be consistent and you got to be consistent right so and that's a sacrifice right it means like not having a bunch of days off it means showing up for your appointments and showing up to your appointments on time and being in a good customer service mood and being able to replicate the haircut that you gave them before. All those factors tie into that consistency, right? So check me out. It's funny. I did a haircut today that I thought was a better haircut than what he usually gets. I've been cutting this guy for like three years. I thought the haircut that I did today was better than the haircut that he usually gets. And it's funny that he actually didn't like it as much. I thought it was better. My expertise as a barber told me that this actual haircut is better than the one that he usually gets. But he said, I actually, can we do back the other one? Can we do the other one instead? So he didn't want me to be better or what I thought was better. He wanted me me to be consistent in what I was already doing. People want you to show up consistently, take the consistent amount of time on the haircut because it it is something that they can have a level of security in that they understand and that they get and that they like, if that makes sense. So that's why consistency is so important on top of obviously improvement, right? You can improve, you can be consistent, but you just can't be worse. You just cannot be worse. And if you can be consistent or, or be better, you will be able to grow. And then what happens is that you're, since you're so consistent, you have like a so much mental bandwidth that gets freed up because you don't have to think about these things because they're muscle memory. Like you having, you are you joking around with them? Are you doing this? Are you doing that? Or remembering their haircut or remembering what we talked about last time. All those things don't even take mental bandwidth. You can just lock in and just bankroll. And I'm telling you the momentum, the snowball, it builds and it builds and it builds and it builds. And I was driving this point home to one of the barbers today because I cut a new client today, right? And it was an after hours haircut. He paid me $94, right? And, but let's say for example, he already told me he wants to do a reoccurring appointment every two weeks. Now, let's say, let's say for some reason, let's say every two weeks he pays me $65 for a haircut. If you do the math, 50, there's 50 weeks in a year because we have two weeks for vacation, 
right? He gets a haircut every two weeks, so you take 50 divided by two is 25, right? That's 25 haircuts in a year. Let's say he pays me $65 a haircut, right? Which is very reasonable. $65 a haircut. That is $1,625 that I just added to my annual income because I was the type of barber that can lock that type of client in. Now him, he values consistency. He's a business professional. He works by a schedule. He wants me to be consistent. So check me out. If I can be consistent, I just locked in the type, I just locked in a client that is worth $1,625. And I'll be able to get every dollar of that if I can just be consistent. But the problem is that barbers want to take days off. Barbers want to slack off. And it's like, bro, you don't even have to be that good. Just wherever you are, if you have people that are coming back to you, it's because they want whatever you are. Even if you're like a C barber, not an A plus barber, whatever. If you are a C barber and you got people coming back to you, they want you to just be a C barber and they're cool with that as long as you're consistent with it. And that's how I was able to raise my prices. I was able to raise my prices because I had such a book of business of people that I was so consistent with that did not want to leave me, but yet I was still getting more and more and more and more clients that I was able to raise my prices, but it took me so long because I wasn't consistent in the things that created success. So one thing that you have to be honest with yourself and you have to ask yourself, how consistent am I being? And for barbers, it's a struggle. It's a struggle because we're human and life happens and we have emotions and we have bad days, right? But we have to understand the things that create success so that no matter what, we can be consistent in those things. For example, customer service is important. The type of haircut that they're getting is important. Punctuality is important. You following your schedule and showing up on the days that you always show up on is important. We have this we have this saying in the barbershop that if you treat Mondays right, Mondays will treat you right because some barbers want to work some Sundays and not work other Sundays. How could you build, I'm sorry, not Sundays, a Monday. If you treat a Monday right, a Monday will treat you right because some barbers want to work some Mondays. Now, a big complaint for barbers is, oh, the Mondays are slow or Tuesdays are slow or Wednesdays are slow, right? But if, if you don't always work a Monday, how can you build up the habit of clients knowing that you're available and that you'll show up on a Monday? If you want a Monday clientele, you got to be a Monday barber. But you want to take some Mondays on, some Mondays off. You have to always work the Mondays if you want to be booked on a Monday. Some days my Mondays look better than my Saturdays. But that's because I've always been consistent on working a Monday. I don't take Mondays off. If I tell you I work Monday to Saturday, I work Monday to Saturday. Unless, you know, maybe it's an expo or that's one, two, you know, times in a year. But it's, it's so rare that it's that people don't even notice it they're just like no yes of course he works mondays right but joshua p has this quote he says that it is what you do consistently that defines you not what you do occasionally so what do you consistently do because whatever you consistently do builds your identity and that identity affects your behavior and then your behavior brings your result so if you don't like the result that you're getting you have to ask yourself okay what behavior is getting me that result what identity is bringing forth that behavior if I'm a late person, I'm going to be, my behavior is going to be late to my appointment. So therefore, I won't be t- on time to my appointments. So people will not think that I'm a timely person. So then my clients will be late to my appointment. If I want my people to be on time for me, I need to be on time for my people. And if I'm not on time, I need to communicate that I won't be on time. So if my clients are not on time, they know that this is how we operate. You communicate that you're going to be five, 10 minutes late out of respect for me and just how, how we operate. But the problem is that we want to give without getting. I'm sorry. We want to get without giving. We want somebody to do something for us that we're not willing to do for them. And that's not that's just not how it works and that's just from my experience. And these are just things that I wish I would have known earlier. This is a video that you can just say is I'm just talking to myself and I'm just I'm letting you listen to it, but it's something that as a barber that this year I'll clear over $200,000 a year. It is something that I've had to learn and it's been like burned into my skull. So I hope this video was valuable to you. I hope that you like these videos. They're raw, they're uncut, but they're real, they're authentic, and this stuff works or else I wouldn't tell you guys because I wouldn't waste your time and I wouldn't waste mine, all right? Hope you guys have a phenomenal day. Let me know, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, I'll see you on the next one.